Louise Dance Nazi Concentration Camp Guard Dance was born on 11th December 1917 in Waldorf, Thuringia, German Empire. She completed elementary school and later worked in a bakery in Brandenburg. In 1940, she returned to her parents' home to take care of them as they were getting older. She started training as a postal worker to enter the post office. While on vacation, she met Dr. Freiherr Franz von Bodmann, who was a Nazi SS camp physician at several Nazi concentration camps. She began a relationship with him, but she didn't know that Bodman was already married and had three children. He convinced Dance to join the SS. On January 24, 1943, at the age of 26, Dance was recruited as an SS Aufseherin within the Nazi concentration camp at Ravensbrück. She completed a three-week art course at the Ravensbrück concentration camp and on March 22, 1943, transferred to the Maidenek concentration camp. The main task of the SS guards was to take groups of female prisoners from the camp gate to their workplace, monitor them, and bring them back to the camp. Dan supervised the women's camp work details in the SS camp kitchen, gardening, tailoring, and clothing department. In 1944, as the Soviet Red Army advanced on Germany, the Nazi Germans evacuated the camp. During the evacuation of Majdanek at the end of April 1944, she was in the Krakow Plateau concentration camp. One of the witnesses remembered dance in Plateau. She is said to have severely mistreated female prisoners with her whip or kicking them. She would punch women under the chin and at the same time knead them in the stomach. After the evacuation of Plateau concentration camp, Louis Dance was transferred to Auschwitz-Birkenau in September or October 1944. She was responsible for reporting the daily number of prisoners entering Birkenau and the number of deaths. Also oversaw a Jewish commando in the camp laundry. After the evacuation of Auschwitz took place in January 1945, she was moved to Ravensbrück subcamp in Marchow. She became Oberaufseherin of the Marchow concentration camp in January 1945 upon her arrival. According to the statements of surviving prisoners, then severely abused prisoners, hours-long prisoner roll calls. Prisoners were crammed into the barracks, sick and starving, were in such poor health that very few were fit to work, which killed number of women prisoners. She left women standing naked in the winter cold for hours and also said to have aided in the hanging Russian women prisoners. Shortly before the Soviet Red Army liberated the Marcho concentration camp in May 1945, Dance tried to escape but was discovered and arrested on the 1st of June, 1945. A year later, she put on trial for crimes against humanity at the Auschwitz trial in Krakow, Poland. She was accused of having physically and morally abused the prisoners. Then said in the court that she was forcibly recruited to be a camp guard and that she tried to refuse the service. However, each SS camp staff had to sign a contract and her signature was with Bodman's approval, so her excuse was of no use. Testimony of a survivor I was hit by her too. This also happened during roll call. She first hit me on the head with her hand, in the area of the left ear. When I asked why, she said, for this, and she hit me on the other side of the head. Since then, I have balance disorders and afraid when I try to move down. Testimony of another survivor I remember well the head warden named Dance or Danziger. At every opportunity, 
She beat and abused the prisoners' wives for no reason. I remember one incident. One day showed us five hanging women's corpses and said that these five Russian prisoner women were hanged by her and that we should be careful because the same fate can also happen to us. Danst was sentenced to life imprisonment in 1947, but was released early in 1956 for good behavior after serving nine years. She then changed her life, tried not to let anyone know about her, and never spoke again about her time in the Nazi concentration camps. In 1996, Louise Dance was tried in a German court for beating a little girl to death when she was Oberalzerian in the Melchow camp. Doctors said the defendant was too old to be able to withstand court proceedings, so the charges were dropped. Louise Dance died in 2009 in Waldorf, Germany, age 91.